All right, we are back. This is the final match in the Black Belt Finals. And then Vitor Ugo faces Cyborg one more time. Oh, well, I'm really excited to oh, see yeah, what's going to happen is now. This is the absolute final. I mean, this is the one that we've been waiting for, right? Yep, this is the big one. And I Look at that. We've got actually a list here of the past champions from the Black Belt Absolute Division here at the Nogi Worlds. 2014, Yuri Simois. 2015, Felipe Pena. 2016, Yuri Simois again. 2017, Lucas the Hulk Barbosa. 2018, Gordon Ryan. And now, 2019, Roberto Cyborg Abreu aiming for double gold. He already took the gold in the ultra heavyweight division earlier. Now, aiming for the gold here in the absolute. Yeah, I want to find out if Victor Ugo is going to have a different strategy for this fight. Or if he's going to be the exact same guy. If I were him, I'd pull guard right away. I think that's what he's got best shot. But I suspect Cyber is going to do the same thing. It worked yeah. really well for him last time. So. They are just adjusting the mats somewhat. There's a, uh, a few little gaps in the mats. So they're just uh, doing their best to adjust those quickly. Don't want anybody getting any toes caught in those. Safety first here at the IBJJF Nogi World Championships. And, and uh, please excuse after graphics. all these wars, there's no way they're not going to move a little bit. Yeah. Luckily, it doesn't, only takes a few seconds. So on the left, Roberto Cyborg Abreu. On the right was Victor Hugo. There is Cyborg himself already now, including the ultra heavyweight medal that he won today, a six-time world Nogi champion. There is Victor Hugo, his first year competing as a black belt. He only got his black belt in the summer, just after the world championships. So really looking to make his mark now. And of course, a lot, he did lose to Cyborg in the ultra heavyweight division earlier today in the semi-final. But today, a chance at redemption. Vitor Ugo going into his A game against Cyborg. Well, it was interesting because Cyborg was the one who pulled first in their earlier match. Yes. But this time, very different. Vitor Hugo was the one to pull first because for a big, big man, he has a very flexible guard game. Yes. and Much like Cyborg. Yes, but he moves really well for this one that size. He's got that, you know, like he doesn't move like someone who would have that. I mean, his build is not someone who's got a flexible guard, but very dangerous. And I think this is where he's going to get his best chance at defeating Cyborg is exactly where he's at. Cyborg keeps his... Oh, this could be bad for Cyborg. I tapped. Wow. But, wow. Wow! Yeah. Oh, what? what? No my one was word. expecting that that early in the fight. What oh a my performance. word! What a shock! I am speechless. And it seemed like Cyborg was really calm there and very really like not in danger. And then all of a sudden, I think he underestimated how tight that knee bar actually I was. I think so. Because it I, seemed calm, like nothing, fine, fine, and then a quick tap. Victor Hugo with the shock submission win early in the absolute final. Roberto Cyborg Abreu, his chances at double goal taken away. He will go home with gold and silver. Their second match today, so different to their first. Well, both of them, gold and silver. Right? Uh, no, Victor Hugo took bronze, took bronze in the in ultra heavyweight. That's right. James Popola was his oh, final. I don't think anybody imagined that to happen today. Cyborg limping around that knee, obviously. You know, we're going to hopefully see that again. But Victor Hugo with the big submission win in the absolute final. Writing his name in the history books. He will go down as the 2019 IBJJF World No Gi Black Belt Absolute Champion. And what a way I, to do it. I suspect this will not be the last time we see him in a final either. I think given his age and how well he's been doing, recently promoted Black Belt, we're going to be hearing about him for a long, long time. Only 22 yeah. years of age is Victor Hugo, and I think we can agree that that is the beginning of a long, bright career. There is an e bar. Look at that. Oh, yeah, my word. Yeah, it pops. You can see that, like, right at the final extension there, you can see a little bit of a jump on the knee. Cyborg really hung on as long as he possibly could, but I just don't, there was no way out. He was dead to rights. 
And that is a big yeah. man extending oh, no. a lot of pressure through one joint. Yeah. My but word. You, you know what? No, Shane Cyborg is a true hero. There's no way out of it. The guy's done so much, High Well. He's been competing for so long, the highest level. He's 38 years old. He's a gym owner. He's a coach. And here he is competing with a 22-year-old. You know, won a gold medal, silver medal in the Open. Still an amazing performance, but props to Victor Hugo. What a huge win. That is an emotional end to the absolute final for both men. Of course, the the heartbreak of Roberto Cyborg, but the triumph, the redemption for Victor Hugo. What a fitting end to the absolute final. And Robert, it has been an absolute uh, pleasure to call likewise. the action with you here today. The 2019 IBJJF World Nogi Championships. There is the absolute gold medalist, Victor Hugo. What a phenomenal performance today. Absolutely. A pleasure here, I will. I hope we can do this again sometime, and I will see you again, I guess, Europeans. Maybe pants. And, uh, yeah, what a show. Props to everyone. Congrats, Flo. Congrats, IBJJF. Congrats, all the competitors. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to the action here. It has been a wild, wild day of action.